So I'm just going to bring you up to date on what's been going on with my aircraft project. You haven't seen any videos for a while. Well, there's two things. Number one, the weather's been good, and I have a uh, bus I'm converting to a motorhome that I've been able to spend some time on uh, now that the weather's good and I can work outside, so I've been taking advantage of that. But the other thing is, is two issues with my RX-7 uh, 13B motor I've been converting for an aircraft. One is I didn't, I couldn't get my end play fixed and uh, after being on the phone with Dan from Atkins Rotary a few times and doing a bunch of research, I figured out that the person I got the motor from had put in a 93 and uh, later crank and counterweight and I was kind of working everything off of the older uh, FD series and it wasn't working. Uh, anyway, I ended up getting with them, getting the right bearings, the right thrust bearings, and I ordered a couple of spacers. Mine had a B, I ordered a C and a D, and when I ended up uh, getting the D in there, I ended up with the right end play. So I've got the end play on my engine fixed. So the next thing I started working on before I closed everything up was my pulley system. My pulley system has to be a little bit unique on the airplane because I'm not going to have power steering, I'm not going to have the air pump, um, but I am going to run uh, two alternators, but I'm also not going to run the air conditioning. So I've been working on that, and the, and the problem I ran into that I didn't like is it has the alternator pulley up here on the top, then it has the water pump here, and then um, the main drive pulley let's see, was like right here somewhere. And so when you eliminate everything else and you run the pulley, it ends up coming around the alternator, barely glancing the water pump on the back side of the pulley and then coming around something like that. And water pump is very important, so I didn't like this arrangement. Um, so I wanted to set it up so that I can wrap the water pulley water pump pulley like that. Get a lot more belt contact, plus I would get the V-rib, multi-rib side of the pulley. Well, I've been having a little bit of a difficult time because um, by going from this direction around this direction, I just reversed the direction of the water pump, which doesn't work. Um, so I got figuring out that the RX-8 water pump actually turns in this other direction. So um, I went and bought a gasket for an RX-8 and I laid the gasket on my engine and I laid it on, on my front cover that I had and it looked like everything was the same except for the one bolt that's kind of off on its own. It doesn't really do anything. It helps stabilize the kind of uniquely shaped um, uh, water pump housing on my RX-7. There's a little shim under it and it just kind of helps bolt it down. That one didn't line up, it was in a different spot. But since the RX-8, the water pump housing and the front cover are all now one full solid piece, I figured that that one bolt wouldn't be that big of a deal. So I started lining it up and getting everything to work and, and the next problem I ran into is that on the RX-8, they actually, on the front cover, they added a little reservoir, I'm not sure what the purpose of it is, inside the front cover that um, directs oil differently to the uh, the oil, what is it, the oil injection pump uh, to lubricate the shaft on that. And what it did is it made so that extra thing actually hits the counterbalance on my RX-7. I, and I can't change the counterbalance weight unless I tear everything apart, put on an RX-8 counterbalance, and I have to rebalance everything. And I'm not even sure if I could get that to work or not, but I know that I can't switch that out. Um, so what I decided to do after looking at things, I'll show you here in just a minute, is I, I took the front cover off the RX-8, you know, that kind of has your uh, lug for your alternator up here and then it kind of comes down this way as the water pump your water goes out here the water pump sits here 
it comes on down across the oil pan and up however it goes something like that um, so I've looked at it and I realized that there's nothing between this water pump housing section that sits right here and this main body that connects so I've actually taken it and got a long blade for my saber saw clamped this down on a workbench and I've sawed this water pump housing off I, I, I have cut it off and that's the stage I'm at right now what that will allow me to do is I can bolt it on where the original water pump housing went for my RX-7 but now it gives me the housing for an RX-8 which will allow that pump to turn in the direction I need it to, to turn so that I can wrap my belt in a better uh, direction and then I'm going to come off of the second pulley on here and come up to a side mounted alternator over here for my second one that's where my second alternator will be anyway I will go ahead I'll go out in the shop and I will show you what I've been doing with that and we'll go to there so this is the front cover that I bought on um, eBay for $45 and you'll notice that it's different than my other front cover and the other front cover doesn't have the water pump section it's a separate unit like on the RX-7 and so this one instead of having that big deal up here and the other one come out over there it puts these two right together which is a lot nicer it looks a lot better we don't have that big arm sticking up here so that part's nice but the other part that's really nice is it allows me to turn to have my pump now pulley go around this way which will be the proper direction and it'll get me a lot better pulley bite which makes me feel a little bit more comfortable so anyway I'll show you what I did if you can see right here see I just came right here with a with a uh, my saber saw and I just cut right along this line I took this line here because you'll notice right here I had to save this bolt area I didn't want to get near it so I came a ways away from it came down through here and across here and out and so now this is separate. So now you'll notice on the back that it bolts on with these same three bolts that my other one does. Then these other, this is the alternator lug, then the other one has two of these braces that um, have shims under them that bolt down. Well mine only one of those bolts in the right spot. So to bolt mine down, I'll have these three bolts around this area, and I believe it's this one that bolts down tight. And then this one won't have anything on it. And then, then I had to come in, and you'll notice here, I need this bolt right here to attach my uh, water pump. So I've come in here and cut this back. I cut it back without getting in the way of this water channel. And then I gotta just smooth that off and make that a flat surface, make sure it's a milled flat surface so my bolt will fit right. Um, and so now I'm actually gonna take my uh, Dremel and my porting tool, I'm gonna clean all of this up in these areas and make it look like it came that way, clean all of this stuff up, take these areas right here and fade them in and make them look good. But I think that this will be a much nicer um, way to go on my motor. So here's the motor. You'll notice that I did get back my um, intake from the welder. He got that all welded up. I think he's done a really good job. He uh, couldn't quite get in to these areas to seal it off. So I don't know if you can see it or not. We'll try. But he welded the insides you can see in there. So we welded the insides to make sure they were all sealed off. Um, so I got it all put back on. The only problem is you'll notice that this flange doesn't come in flat. And the reason is is because now it hits right here. Uh, it didn't hit there on my mock-up. I'm not sure what has changed to make it hit now. But I'm just going to cut this corner off. You'll see there, down there, weld a flat piece in so that will be able to push over and miss that lug right there but anyway back to the main reason that I got here by the motor so you'll notice I got my front cover off but this is my new water pump housing that I've milled off of the RX-8 
and it's going to drop on just like that. So you'll notice that it all fits the same. Um, I might end up having to cut this a little further so that this uh, front cover can fit under there. I haven't actually tried that area yet, but I've got plenty of room to work there, so I'm sure I can make that work. And then over here, I'll just have those two coming out right there, which is a lot better. And like I said, one of those bolts, so this one right here is the one that'll bolt down tight. This other one over here is the one that doesn't line up. You'll see that that's the plate right there and it doesn't line up. But I think these four bolts there will more than hold it satisfactory. And anyway, that's where we're at on that. So I'm gonna go ahead now and get everything closed in, get my front cover on permanently now that I've got my end play fixed and I know what I'm doing with the front cover and the water pump housing. And I also got this plate right here, if you can see it, that aluminum plate right there. That aluminum plate actually goes on my motor between the oil pan and the bottom of the block and becomes my motor mount. So I'm gonna get all this on, get my motor sealed and closed in, and then I can start working on my exhaust manifold. I did get my brace back from the, the uh, laser cutter for my turbo mount. I'm mounting it solid so it doesn't put any weight on my exhaust manifold. And that once I get the engine closed in, then I'll pretty much be just on to working on, on that. Anyway, I'm going to get back at it. So before I end this video, I do want to say that I do have something that's come along in the last couple of weeks that's very exciting to me. I'm not ready to reveal it quite yet. Um, it's not in an area where I can do it justice, but that reveal will be coming in the next couple of weeks. Once I get things set up and squared away, I'm very excited about it. It doesn't really change the direction I'm headed with my airplane, but it definitely will make a difference in, in my aviation direction. And I'm excited to share that with you here in just a short little while. So. If you like my video, I'd like you to go ahead and press the like button. Also subscribe so you can follow along with me on uh, this aircraft project. And I do appreciate any comments that you may have or suggestions. I, I appreciate love to read through those. So anyway, until next time, get back at it.